Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. And this is part one in a series of videos about co-authoring in Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft have recently updated the co-authoring features in Office so that you and others can work on the same slides at the same time. When you save the presentation to OneDrive or SharePoint in Office 365, you can work on the same slides in PowerPoint for Windows, Mac and iPad and in almost any browser. So if you're preparing for a meeting and working with other people on the slides, you can have the slide deck open, update it in real time and track what the other people are doing and you'll see their edits as they type them. So we'll start out with a Windows PC and a Mac and Alex is going to be logged in on the Windows PC and Megan is going to be logged in to the Mac and during the video we'll switch between the two to see what their experience is. So here I am logged into a Windows PC as Alex and I've created a new slide deck in PowerPoint. I'm just going to save it to Alex's OneDrive. I'm going to call it Web Marketing Plan and then save that. Now it's saved, I want to go and share it with Megan. So I come up here to the top right hand corner and click share. And I'm going to choose to share with specific people and allow editing and apply that. Then I'm going to type in Megan's name and she should come up in the directory because she's in my organization. Choose her and then hit send. And that will send an email to Megan. She's on a MacBook using Office for Mac. And I'm here in our Outlook. I can see the email has been sent by Alex with an invitation to share the presentation. So all I have to do is click on the open button. It's going to open it up in the browser first of all. So I can see it in PowerPoint and mine. It's just open Safari for me. The first thing I can see in the top right hand corner here is that Alex is already editing this slide. An important part of the co-authoring system is the presence indicators. So that's so you know who's editing what and when. In this next section we're going to look at how those presence indicators show up in PowerPoint. So you can see over here in the left hand side, Alex's presence flag, and he's in blue there. So next thing I'm gonna do is open this slide deck up in PowerPoint. So I'm gonna come up here to open in PowerPoint, and start the PowerPoint application up. Now I can see the slide in PowerPoint and gradually all the co-authoring features light up. I've got Alex's editing here. I can also go to the slides he's editing and I can email him as well. I can also see Alex's presence over here too. All right, so let's add in a slide. And now we'll switch back to Alex and see what he sees. So over on Alex's PC now, I can see the co-author features on the ribbon. So I can see Megan and where she's working. I can chat to her and open a contact card. And I've also got a Skype button for chatting as well which we'll come to a bit later on. So within the slide itself, if I go to slide two, which is where Megan's done her work, I can see two types of icon here. So one of them, the green one, is to indicate that there's been a change to an area on the slide. And you can see if you hover over the green star icon, it will show me when that was modified and who by. Then the second indicator we see here, just indicating that Megan's done some work on this slide, which I've actually already seen. So. If I move around this, you'll see that the flag that's indicated that there was a change now disappears because it knows I've seen the change. So while I'm editing a slide with someone else, I will also see the edits they make in real time. So I can see text as other people type it. And if new slides are added, I'll also see them. Now you can see here that this section of the slide has been changed by the changes icon. Again, it's lit up. And then also in this new slide that's been added, I can see that Megan has been working on it. Thanks for watching. And in the next video in this series, we're gonna look at saving and restoring slides and also how to manage versions.